Hello ladies and gentlemen, happy new year, I hope you're all doing wonderful. And in today's video I'll show you how you can create blueprint animations in PowerPoint. I have created a couple of blueprint animations and we will pick one and I'll show you step by step how you can create it yourself. Alright, so let's get started. That's good. Alrighty, my friends, so I have created a couple of blueprint animations, one with a robot, one with the landmarks of the world, and one with uh, space shuttle parts. So in this tutorial, I think we could create this one with a space shuttle. And first of all, let me show you how we can create this beautiful blueprint background for our slides. So let's just open up a fresh blank new slide, let's go to format background, and let's add a gradient fill to this slide. And as you can see, PowerPoint remembers the last gradient that I have used and it is a radial gradient with two color stops. Let me just zoom in and show you the hex codes of the colors. So this one is the color that is on the left side and the color on the right side of the slider has this hex code. So feel free to use the same hex codes for your colors if you wish and you'll have this beautiful gradient fill. All right. And as you can see, we have a bunch of small rectangles, we have some bigger rectangles as well, and we have some lines. So let me show you how we can create all of that in our slide. Let's just go to Insert Shapes and let's choose a Rectangle tool. Hold down the Shift key to draw a perfect rectangle, that's awesome. Now let's just remove the fill, choose No Fill, and for the line color, let's choose the beautiful white color. That's awesome. Alright, and for the dimensions of this rectangle, I'm using half a centimeter for height and width. Just like that. All right, let me zoom in and now let's jump to the format shape options and for the line width let's use 0.25 points and for the line transparency let's enter 80% so that our little uh, rectangle becomes a little bit transparent and now let's duplicate the rectangle Control D to duplicate and now let's align this copy to the right side and let's do it five more times so that we have five beautiful rectangles okay let's select all of these guys and let's duplicate them and now let's create a second row, let's make sure we align everything perfectly and now let's duplicate a couple of times so that we have this cube made out of 5x5 five five rectangles. That's awesome, let's select all of these guys and let's group them into one group. Alright, so the small rectangles are ready and in my original slide I have as well created these bigger rectangles as well, so let me show you how we can create them. So let's get back to our slide. Let me just zoom in a little bit so that we can see these rectangles. Let me select one of these little rectangles. Let's paste it outside somewhere right here. And now let's make sure that we make him a little bit uh, more visible. So let's uh, reduce the transparency to 70% or let's just use 50% uh, just like that. So it is more visible. And now let's make sure that we check what are the dimensions. So two and a half centimeters for height and width. And let's use the same dimensions for this uh, rectangle on the right. Okay. And now all that's left is to align these two guys to the middle and to the center. You can go to align options and click align center, align middle. I have just added these shortcuts to my quick access toolbar. All right, and now let's just group everything into one beautiful group and we are pretty much ready. Now we can just duplicate this guy and create our background. And once again, let's use the shortcut, Control D or Command D to duplicate and let's align this duplicate here on the right side. And now let's just duplicate this cup a few more times until we have 12 beautiful rectangles. Okay, so let me check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's hit Ctrl D one more time, that's beautiful. And now let's uh, group this row of rectangles into one group. And now let's duplicate this row of rectangles and let's align the duplicate just below the first row, just like that. And now let's duplicate a few more times until we have seven rows of big rectangles, just like that. So we should end up with a grid of 12 by 7 uh, huge rectangles or big rectangles. Okay, let's make sure everything is aligned to the center of the slide and this is how the grid should look like. 
Okay, and now a good idea is to actually move this grid to the slide master view so that we don't accidentally click on it while we are working in the normal mode. So let's jump to the slide master view and let's paste our grid. And I have actually already prepared everything that we need and I have added some additional features to this grid so we can check them out in the selection pane. So first of all, I have added one big rectangle. This is like a frame to our background. Next, I have added some rulers on the sides of the slide and as well, we have those uh, big rectangles and small rectangles that we have already created. So feel free to hide or unhide anything that you wish in the selection pane in the slide master view. All right, and now let's jump back to the normal view. Let's delete the last slide and let's insert a new one and let's make sure that this new slide is using the blueprint slide layout that we have set in the slide master. Okay, now let's take care of the rest of the things, the illustrations, the text boxes and the animations. So once again, let's check out how the space shuttle animation looks like. As you can see, different parts of the space shuttle are flying in and we have these little text callouts animated as well. And I'll show you how you can create all of that. And first of all, let me show you where you can find these beautiful fonts that I'm using for the blueprint animation. So the first one is called Cabin Sketch and the next one is Londrina Sketch. So you can go to fontsgoogle.com and you can find the Cabin Sketch. Just click on this Download Family button and you can find Londrina Sketch on Google Fonts as well. Links are in the video description. Now let me just copy these guys and the logos and let me paste them to our slide to save some time. Okay. And let me copy this little table here on the right side just for fun. Let's copy it and let's paste it right here. This is just a stylistic choice. Of course, you can hide it in the selection pane if you don't need it. And now let's find that beautiful space shuttle. And before we find it, let's make sure there's no animations in the animation pane. We'll do everything step by step. Okay. So for this beautiful space shuttle animation, we can go to freepick.com. The exact link is in the video description. And all that's left to do is just click on this green button download. But uh, keep in mind that this illustration is provided in EPS format. And EPS is not supported by PowerPoint, which means that we'll have to convert this EPS to SVG. And for that, we can use cloudconvert.com. So let's just find our EPS file. Here it is. And let's convert it to SVG. Okay, let's download the SVG illustration. Let's jump back to PowerPoint. And now we can go to insert pictures from this device and let's find our SVG illustration. Click insert. And now as you can see, PowerPoint successfully recognizes and imports this illustration. That's awesome. Let's make it bigger. And now the important step is to convert this illustration to shape. Otherwise, we'll not be able to edit this illustration. And now let's ungroup it. And as you can see now, PowerPoint shows all of the different elements of this illustration. And all we need is that beautiful space shuttle. So let's make sure that we select only the parts that we need. Let's group our selection into a group. Okay, let's uh, try to move the space shuttle. And for the rest of the elements, let's delete them. And let's bring back the shuttle to the uh, center of the slide. It looks beautiful the way it is, but we will stylize this space shuttle so that it has the same you know, feeling, the same blueprint feeling. And before we continue, let's make sure we ungroup. And now we will have to select the different parts of this space shuttle. And now let's select this rocket on the right side. It's called Solid Rocket Booster. Let me just delete these little labels so that I don't accidentally select them. Okay, so let me try selecting this rocket once again. All right, let's zoom in. Let's make sure that we deselect any of the elements that we don't need. For example, that little rectangle. Okay, and now let's just move this rocket a little bit to the right side so we can uh, edit this uh, part a little bit more. So first of all, let me just delete all of these blue shadows. We won't need them. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's make sure we don't miss any parts that we want to delete. As well, let's scroll up to the top. Here we have a couple of uh, white highlights. So let's delete them as well. All we need is just basically a fill layer and outline layer, okay? And now as you can see, our fill layer is made out of two pieces. So we can uh, make sure that we select both of these guys. Let's go to shape format and go to merge shapes and choose union. So that now it is one shape. All right, everything is looking beautiful. And now let's fill this uh, fill layer with white and let's add some transparency. So let's try 75% transparency, looking good. And now let's move the fill layer to the left side so that we can select the rest of the rocket elements. And let's make sure we select them all and let's turn them to white. 
OK, let's fill them with white color and let's group them. And now we can select both of these guys and let's make sure we align them to center. And skadoosh, our solid rocket booster is ready. So in the same way, I have stylized the rest of the space shuttle parts. So we have this external tank, we have two solid rocket boosters and we have the orbiter. So to save some time, let me just copy these guys from my previous slide and let's paste them all into our slide. Control V or Command V, our favorite shortcut. And in the selection pane, let's delete all of the animations for now. We will add all of the animations that we need together, step by step. And now let's decide which part of the space shuttle should be animated first. So I think this external tank should be animated first. And in the selection pane, it's called Rocket. So I guess I have forgotten to rename it, but it's okay. Let's make sure we select it. Let's go to Animations and let's choose Flying Animation. And for the direction, let's choose from top. Okay, now let's jump to the animation pane. And for the duration, let's insert two seconds or any other duration that you wish. And in the effect options, let's add a bounce end of 0.5 seconds. So that we have a little bit of bounce end. That's awesome. Okay, and now let me check what comes next. Let's jump to my previous slide and let's play the animations. So after the external tank, we have these solid record boost, solid rocket boosters animated at the same time. <laughs> so let's do the same. And actually we can reuse the animation from the external tank. Uh, let's just use the animation paint term. And let's just make sure that we change the direction this time. Let's use from left. And now let's use the animation painter once again. And let's copy this animation to this guy on the right. And once again, let's choose the direction. And in the animation pane, let's make sure that the right booster is animated with previous, which means together with the left booster at the same time. Looking beautiful. All right, and now the last part of the space shuttle that we have to animate is the orbiter. So we can reuse the animation from the external tank and let's paste it to the orbiter. Let's just change the direction from bottom. Looks like this, beautiful. And now let me show you how we can add these beautiful callouts, okay? So these are made out of a text box and just a line with a bubble. So first of all, let's go to insert text box and let's just insert a text box and let's just type in external tank. All right, let's make sure we select all of the text. Let's add this beautiful font cabin sketch. Okay, let's make the font bold. And for the text color, let's use white. Okay, so for the font size, I'm using 18. So I think it's uh, the same font size as we had before. And of course, if you wish, you can change the font size. Okay, let's use 20 for example. And now let's position this text box somewhere right here. And now let me show you how we can create that line with a bubble. So I guess you can create it in a couple of ways, but I was using the freeform shape tool. Now click once, hold down the shift key to draw a perfect line, click for the second time. And now let's uh, point to the direction of this external tank and click for the third time. Now let's add white for this outline. And now to add a little bubble at the end of this line, let's just go to line options and let's just go to end arrow type and let's choose this circle from the little drop down menu. And skadoosh, you have your beautiful line with a circle at the end. All right, so let's make sure we select a line and we select the text box. Let's group these guys into one group. And now we can reuse this text box and create the rest of the callouts for the rest of the space shuttle parts. So I'll speed up and catch you in a second. By the way, if you like to edit your lines, you could always right click on them and choose edit points and this way you can change the look of your lines. Alright, so all of the labels are ready and now all that's left to do is to add animations to these labels. So once the rocket comes in, this external tank label should be animated. So let's make sure we select this label, let's go to animations, let's choose wipe animation and let's choose direction from left. And let's make sure it starts with previous and in the animation pane list, let's make sure we bring it just below the rocket animation so that uh, after the rocket animation is finished, the label will be animated. That's awesome. And now we can use the same animation and we can paste it to the rest of the labels. And let's just make sure that we position these label animations in the correct order in the animation pane list. And for the solid rocket booster uh, text boxes, let's make sure that both of these uh, text boxes are animated at the same time. 
Alright, and now let's check it out on the full screen. So first of all, the external tank comes in and then the label. Next, we have some solid uh, rocket uh, boosters. And finally, we have the orbiter. That's awesome. And by the way, let me show you how we can add a subtle animation to this Space Shuttle uh, slide title and this subtitle. So let's select the Space Shuttle text box, let's go to Add Animations and let's choose Grow Shrink Animation. Let's bring it up to the top of the list. Let's make sure it starts with Previous and for the duration let's use something small, for example 0.4 seconds. And in the Effect Options let's make sure we use something small, for example 101%. Let's check Auto Reverse, OK. And in the timing options, let's make sure we choose until the end of slide. Hit OK. And let's check it out on the full screen. And as you can see, our Space Shuttle title is growing and shrinking. And I think we can reduce uh, the duration to 0.2 seconds to make it even faster. And this way, I think we have made our slide title a little bit more interesting, a little bit more lively. And now we can just use the Animation Painter and paste the same animations to the subtitle. OK, let's make sure that both of these text box animations are in the top of the Animation Paint list. And here's our final result. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know how you can create blueprint animations in PowerPoint. And since today we were talking about blueprint animations, I think this topic fits really well to the whiteboard animations and to the whiteboard class that I have recently created on Skillshare. And for this reason, I will add all of the slides that we have created today to the resource section, so to the class project pptx file. And there you will find all of the whiteboard slides and all of the blueprint slides. So all of my Skillshare students will be able to enjoy these blueprint slides. And if you haven't already checked out my whiteboard animation class, link is in the video description. One month is absolutely free on Skillshare. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video.